All right, so right right before we delve into that, because you're about to see a lot of titles. Uh, welcome to Weaving with Wes, number eight. Uh, we this is a bounce back episode from our first feature with Anime Gensho, and that that's actually props to them, bro, because they uh they brought a lot of a lot of like views and stuff over here. So we're definitely gonna and they were great to have on. Obviously, it's yeah, it's our yeah. like best episode. It's our it's our best episode of Weaving with Wes yet. It, it did yeah, the best. Good. There's a lot a lot of key parts, good key parts in there. But uh, I had fun talking with them. Yeah, yeah, that was dope. They they're definitely gonna come on. I have a whole list of features that that I'm gonna get with you that we're probably gonna start doing. Uh, this week. Wait, this week's about to end. Next week. Uh, cool. I have two or three lined up that we can we can knock out. In like a few days or however you want to do it, uh, I'll just get your schedule on that. Sure. But good I I was asking you about that Disney stuff because I am so fuck dude Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh really, dude? Let's see. And you know who's playing Darth Vader? Hayden Who? Christensen. Hayden Christensen from the uh, uh, episode three. Anakin from episode three. Oh shit! Everybody okay. thought. Everybody was. Everybody always says, "Oh, he's a horrible actor." Blah 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 blah. I loved him. I don't care. For some reason, I thought he would be older, but he's only thirty nine. I know he doesn't even look that. Cause dude, that movie came out in 05. Right. Fifteen years. I need. I need to put this camera over here. Cause I keep looking over. Yeah, he's yeah, still 50, looks super young. Dude, and my my thing is, I read this somewhere, but this was this also made perfect sense even before I read it. Darth Vader, right? He's got the mask. Usually they don't show him. Uh mm -hmm. but why would they why would they hire Hayden Christensen, who played Anakin, and not show his face? So my thing is, Obi Wan and An er, and Darth Vader are gonna get mm. into some fucking battle royale, bro. And Vader's mask is gonna get like split, and you're gonna see his face. Cause why? Why would they? You know, they can hire anybody right, to right. play in a fucking suit. That is true, and they could just dub over the voice. So. Right. This, yeah, this should be interesting. I didn't, Dude, I didn't they're going to have more fights. Obi Wan and Anakin uh, are gonna Lando have more fights. Show or something, or is it huh? a movie? I don't really. Lando is also getting a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, uh, le le uh, read the uh, list of Star Wars stuff. Let's see, there's Lando, there's something called a droid story, there's the Obi-Wan Kenobi one we just mentioned. Right. There's something called Star Wars Visions. Star Wars Visions that, is what I believe... Animated short films? Yeah, it's, an, it's anime. It's like anime Star Wars. They showed a couple clips. Interesting. There's also uh, Cassian Andor is getting his own show, it seems right. like. Right, right. Damn, they're really going dude. hard on this stuff rangers of the new republic dude the dude the night dude it's in the same font of knights of the old republic so it's gonna be something like that right they're finally <laughs> making that canon dude imagine that, if they rule knights of the old republic canon i'll go back and play crazy. both of those games for the fifth time asuka or asuka yep, ah 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 is also is also getting another show it looks yep. like I I need to go back and watch those those Star Wars um, cartoons. I actually heard they were pretty good. I think Dude, you actually mentioned they were pretty good. The as well. last okay, the first the first season you're gonna hate Ahsoka <laughs> because she she's very like that's that that's her character development. She's like some uh, clingy, annoying Dude, Padawan with like a bunch of like like corny nicknames for people. Right. Doesn't really do anything, but dude. Like, she's pretty fucking important to where she's been in, like, every fucking series. She's been in the Clone Wars, right, right. she was in Rebels, and yeah. now she's in Mandalorian, and now she's getting her own spinoff series. Wait, she's in Mandalorian now? Yeah. Is that in the new season? Yeah. Okay, I haven't I haven't seen it yet. I have a bunch of Star Wars stuff to catch on, but there's so many shows. There's the Bad, Bad Batch, which is... Bad Batch is from the Clone Wars. The Elite and Experimental Clones of the Bad from, Batch. There's from the last Apple season Light. of the Clone Wars season. They have and uh, the uh, the first episode. It's like a whole group of like rogue looking clone troopers, and everybody yeah. loved them in the in the few episodes that they were in. 
So now, uh, so they got their own show. Nice. dude, that's crazy to make Wait, a fucking show out of that. There's one called The Acolyte that is a mystery thriller that will take the viewers into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. That Shit. sounds like that'll be dope, dude. See, I that, don't even I, know, I don't know dope. anything about that because I don't think they revealed a lot. There's also a ton of uh, Marvel stuff. A lot of Marvel stuff. There's Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki is apparently getting his own show. Fantastic Four is having another reboot. This is Marvel is apparently getting a show. Hawkeye is getting something. I'm She-Hole. not going to watch Hawkeye. Moon Knight, which Moon I've Knight never actually read. I've never read that, so I'm actually pretty hyped for that. That's like the only comic character that they've released so far that I didn't actually know anything about. So oh, I was like, really? Dude, yeah, do I you remember Marvel that. Ultimate Alliance? Yeah, yeah, I played it before. He yeah. was in. He was in one of those. Yeah, games. that's the only. That's the only reason I knew who he was. That's, I don't that's know the only really reason anything I about him other than like he's supposed to be similar to uh, Batman, if I recall correctly. Uh, yeah, similar to Batman. Except he actually has powers. Yeah, and uh, he reminds me of <sighs> what's what's that? That funny, the funny fucking hero dude. Um, I, I can't think of his name. He he has like the same. Like acrobatic, like stealth type of shit, but he actually does have powers. He was fucking OP on Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Acrobatic. Uh, he was played by. Fuck, it's it's like a rated R hero thing. Is it Deadpool? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. He's okay. like I, those two resonate with me like in the same fucking wavelength. Deadpool and Moon Knight are like the same thing to me, just like different. There's also some show called Ironheart that's supposed to be a genius inventor who creates the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man. Oh, f- I saw I saw the iron thing, but I didn't read the description of it. That's interesting. And Fantastic and then, Four, they might actually make a good movie for like what? It, what is it like the third or fourth time they're trying this? For what? Fantastic Four. I know there's at least two. Yeah. The original and then the reboot one. Um, that came out five, ten years ago at this point. Dude, if it's the same quality as, like... So this has got to be, like, the third tech try, I think. If it's or, the I think same it was quality... a really old one, though. Yeah, I, 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 I saw the like old the one in the fourth. theaters. Yeah, this might be, like, four, then. No, 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 I saw the Silver Surfer one in theaters. Yeah, so mm-hmm. this has to be, like, the fourth Fantastic Four one. Dude, but what, right? what I was saying is that if it's the same quality... As what we've been seeing from Marvel, this might actually work. Put some fucking effort into it, and it'll be a good movie. I love the Fantastic Four. They're actually also releasing a uh, show called The Greek Freak, which just follows Giannis. Yeah. Giannis Antetokounmpo from uh, the star player on the Bucks. He what? won MVP last year. Why? Why is that? I don't know. I'm gonna probably watch it though. <laughs> look, look at the. Look oh, at the... oh wait, wait. Al will be so excited. Guess what? The, another one is what the Chris Paul project. What? I didn't even see that. What? <laughs> I'm gonna watch that. I love Chris a Paul. Biographical film in development for Disney Plus about NBA superstar Chris Paul follows Paul's deeply moving story of family. <laughs> Legacy and failing to make it to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> failing year after year after year. <laughs> Dude, that'd be funny if it's like master of chokeholds. <laughs> master of choking. <laughs> Dude, Al will just That's immediately funny. like go up to Disney and blow them up. Fucking just shit on their doorstep like an owl. Wow, this is crazy though. They really look at their Pixar so ones. Much stuff, They're dude. taking like uh, they have a new Buzz Lightyear one. They have some crazy spinoff shit of like that short film about that dog. Let's see. They have something called Soul, something called Burrow, Pixar Popcorn, Doug Days. Yeah, Clark, Doug Days. It's that dog. I remember. Winter I forgot Luke. what movies it was from. Uh, it's from Up. It says. The dog oh. from up. I thought he was in more. Dude, they have. I love uh, Pixar movies just for that fact. Of like before every one of them, there's like a short film. A little short film, yeah. Those Dude, are that great. is phenomenal. I, I love that. For sure, yeah. Those are always super entertaining. Dude, but it's just such a fucking. It's so stacked. 
dude, yeah, that is a crazy lineup of stuff that's gonna be coming out. That all like came the, out the like a, a, in one night. I'll, I'll follow is, this. I'll follow, huh? Is it already out? What like all of those series? Yeah, are you saying they're already released? Or no, you're no, saying I'm saying whenever out? whenever they uh, announced it, uh, I was yeah. watching a. <laughs> My my friend Scott he he runs the Bombad Bombad cast uh like the Star Wars podcast and he reacted to it and it, it like it right. went viral for his podcast thing they were announcing it and it's just like title after title after title he's it's just so like crazy. whoa dude he had to change shirts like three or four times uh, he was on uh like it's that's it's real that's shit funny, and he tweeted so later funny. he's like y'all have football and super bowl shit this is my this is my football this is these are my football <laughs> games Star Wars. dude he that's... was like fuck and it's so funny cuz uh whenever he would go away and start freaking out and yelling his mic mm -hmm. would cut off because he didn't want all the loudness so you would just see silent and he's like it's just like <laughs> <laughs> he'd nice. come back and turn the mic on he'd be like <sighs> Yeah, shout out to Scott yeah. though. I got I got uh I got your merch. I, I nice. think he's, I think I wore it on one of the podcasts. The green shirt. But dude, you got uh, merch. That's, a, that's a nice shirt you got on right now. Yeah, Saints baby. Nice. How about them Saints, bro? I don't really watch football honestly. How Pretty about much all them I watch Saints? Is basketball, bro. Ten and zero. Oh, well, not you ten. Tell me. Ten you wins tell me. in a row. I don't know. <laughs> ten wins ten in a row wins though. In a row. What is their record right now? We have the best defense rated in the league right now, and we are uh, ten and two. Ten and two? That's, that seems pretty good. I don't. Greens, I don't really know. Greens has been there. out the past three games, three or four games, and they still won. So that's pretty good. Dude, we right? have a fucking stacked team, Brit. Dude, it gets that's that's the level Maybe I'll start of watching some football. yeah the level of hypeness. That uh, Scott gets from the Star Wars thing, I feel it both, same levels on Star Wars and football. Dude, during <laughs> a Saints game, you don't, you don't want to be around me. I'm violent. I'm violent. <laughs> like yeah, I yell and I curse. I, I, I it's like an instant right. reaction. Like dude, if those motherfuckers call one more goddamn shitty call, I get that way for basketball stuff. So. Yeah. Anyway, you know, I, well, if it's one of my teams playing, but. Yeah, especially if uh, I remember getting really hyped with y'all whenever I was watching basketball. I would go over and we would all watch basketball games. Right. Yeah. Or you just put it on the TV. Chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow down on some CBD. <laughs> and then uh, people are people are breaking uh, ceiling lights and offering to pay for them, but they never pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was seeing uh, how long it was gonna take for you to pick uh, up on that. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> I kept giving out more, <laughs> more information. Never forget. What a stand-up guy. <laughs> Never before has somebody gotten that hype at that house and just smashed something. Dude, what was the reason? Do you remember just... what even happened? I feel like we were playing beer pong or yeah, something. Yeah, y'all were playing and, beer pong, so it had. Hit, I think he hit a shot. Or something like a trick shot. I don't know. I don't even think like whatever whatever it was. I don't even think it was like that insane. He just got like way overhyped and did like a <laughs> fist pump in the air, and just like literally just punched the shit out of the glass, uh, like the the ceiling titty. I don't yeah. I don't know what you actually call it, but like the glass dome over the lights. The ceiling titty <laughs> is what I'm gonna call it. He just punched the shit out of it and it just shattered. <laughs> Dude, in the it's so we like, that, that story is so like exaggerated in my head. To uh to where I I I just picture it like me <laughs> like sitting down because I was in the other room, uh mm -hmm. I was I was in that uh TV room what whatever it was and then there was yeah, like the was door like the, you walk through and then there's like the kitchen or whatever right right yeah so that door was closed and I for some reason I I'm pretty sure there was more talking and more noise in this but I just picture it like completely dead silent and then him just <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then I don't everybody how just got it was. Everybody was just like <sighs> Yeah, the collective sigh which is <sighs> why I'll pay, why I'll pay you... for it. I'll pay I'll for it. I'll pay I for swear. it. I'll clean it up, I'll clean it up. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. It was uh I don't even remember. Like I'm trying to think of how many people were actually there. Uh the, the, the couch was filled was. and I remember there was like a few people 
playing BP, so a full team, and, like, there was a few people, like, standing yeah, around. I think, we, I think we had, like, also, like, a, something going on outside as well in, the, like, the back patio. Fuck, so I, I don't even remember There must have been, like, 10 to 20 people, I guess. Yeah, there was definitely more than 10. I, in addition to, I guess, the people who lived there. So, like, <laughs> 13 to, like, 23, I guess. Or oh, so you're saying it's not as dead silent and awkward as what I'm uh, picturing no, in, it, in my I, head? If, if I recall correctly, that's what I was saying, is that I think a bunch of people were outside. So it was, like, pretty <laughs> quiet. Because I remember after it happened, I think, uh, who was it? Joe, I think, came in from outside and then just started chastising me. <laughs> of course. But, uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I think, there was, I think there was a ton of people in the in the I don't even know what to call that room. The other living room, the room that we actually used as a living room, and then the, yeah. the patio. I yeah, think that's, that's where that, most of the people were. I that think was there was a, like that's two a weird people room. maybe on the couch. Yeah, it was almost like it was a garage at one point. It was yeah, like but added it's on like carpet and like fully insulated right, and shit. Right. It's like another room. It's not like an right. extension. It seems like an extension. I don't know. It, it, yeah, it definitely like does it, because you have doesn't. to like walk down like some steps. Right. Yeah. It seems like that's where like it would be like a single car garage or something. But it, I don't know. Yeah, it but was, it a was weird like house. a full room. Yeah. Yeah, it was a weird house. Honestly, for the amount we paid for it, it was pretty nice. It was mm. only like uh, three or four hundred bucks a month each. I think Damn. And there was like three of us living there, so really not that bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all, bro. Yeah, I, I miss I miss that house sometimes. That was nice. There was like a fucking Papa John's across the street. There was a <laughs> a, a Chinese place called China Walk that we. Oh, went dude, to China so Walk's dope, bro. Way. I love China dude, Walk. We Panda went there Express so is often. shit. Yeah, Panda Express. I've, I've, in my opinion, Panda Express is like the worst fast food place in existence. They can't even cook rice right. I mean, thank you. I thought I thought you were about to defend them. Fuck no, I hate that place. I've literally, like, <laughs> trash talk that Panda Express any chance I get. Oh, Panda like your Express. specific one? No, just, like, all Panda Express. Okay, I've yeah. never had Panda Express be good. Either they same, same. don't cook the rice right, or, like, their food just tastes like it's, like, sugar yes. on chicken, and it's just gross. It's it's not, like, good. <laughs> and I don't, I don't understand. I've had people, like, very, like, vehemently defending and denying My that it's My whole family bad. does. Like, uh, you you want something from Panda Express? We're gonna get that. Like, like it's not horrible, dude. It's 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 worse than McDonald's, man. Dude, it like, one dude. It is five steps uh, below McDonald's. It is the worst fast food place in terms of food, not in terms of service, because we can rate service all day long as in the fucking uh, yeah, gutter. Yeah. But sure, sure. as in terms of f edible food that you taste it's, in your mouth. It tastes like shit. It does. Yeah. It tastes like so sugary, bad. hardened rice shit. <laughs> That's exactly it. Dude, like, <laughs> if you gave me the option between Panda Express and dying and Waffle House or dying, dying, <laughs> even, yeah, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck Waffle House. Yeah, I'm taking myself dying. out. I'm taking fucking both of those things over fucking Panda Express, bro. That shit's vile. Oh, anyway. do, I see, do I see some new things on your desk? Or are those old? The lava lamp and the... Is that an LED? Over here? Yeah, this desk is new. I don't know what this thing is. This is Karis's desk. I don't know what's on here. It's like a little umbrella thing. Oh, uh, it looked like LSU for a second. That's badass. You remind me of... Uh, you're in Wayno right now. You're Robin. I am a... Oh, what do they call her? Oh, Robbie Dono? I am <laughs> oh, Robbie Dono. <laughs> and what, what, are the, what are the female ninjas called? The... Uh, uh, Fuck, I can't it's, remember. It's not a geisha, is it? No, a geisha is like a like a red light district person who who will is like a courtesan basically. They'll uh, they'll court the men and fuck them. <laughs> if I recall so, correctly, so sluts. they also do entertaining stuff though. They like they will entertain you by singing and dancing. I think. So I think they're like fancy sluts, fancy or fancy whores, fancy whores. I think. Right. Is essentially what they are. They're closer to a courtesan that, but I can't remember. Do courtesans have sex with you? I don't know. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. There's a there's a lot of different elements moving in One Piece right now. Okay, yeah, a courtesan is a prostitute, especially one with wealth, wealthy or upper class clients. So a courtesan, I feel like, is a apt description of them because mm. they do fuck you, but I believe that they also do more than that. They do your taxes <laughs> as well. They do your taxes <laughs> while you're fucking them from behind. They're just like scribbling away. <laughs> Can I, uh, what's your routing number? <laughs> Oh, three, 
Wait. Uh, I think it's five? Fuck. <laughs> I gotta hold up. <laughs> I would not be able to uh, spout out my routing number while pounding <laughs> a geisha or a courtesan from the back. <laughs> it's not, it's not in my talent description or job description. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, speaking of One Piece and where you watch One Piece, uh, what what about that news? The Crunchyroll? Did you, did you read about that? I haven't how, read about it yet, but you did tell me about it. Crunchyroll. Yeah, how Sony is absorbing Crunchyroll to like, right. like do like a funny a funny. I I don't know where they're gonna include. Maybe maybe Crunchyroll is gonna be like on the same shit as Funimation. One, one point two billion. Dude, holy Pretty nice acquisition. fuck. Dude, I am happy if I'm Crunchyroll. So it's transferring from Warner Media to Sony, essentially. Oh, okay. So Warner, Warner Media owned Crunchyroll, and so Sony owned Filmation is buying it. So I guess it's a subsidi subsidiary of Sony. Is that the right word? Subsidiary. I think I think that's right. I'm just trying to think how subsidiary sub sub. Subsidi yeah, yeah. Is it subsidiary? Subsidiary. 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 I know there was it an is, subsidiary. It is that's that's one of those words. Controlled by a holding company. Oh wait, what? It is a company controlled by a holding company. Right. So that's a uh, dude. One point two billion, bro. That's that is crazy. a deal. That is I, a deal. I remember back when Crunchyroll wasn't even like a legitimate thing, and like when they were trying to like, I've been on Crunchyroll since before. They moved to being a legitimate platform. It just seems like day, they... they just moved to illegal content, like right every there. other fucking website. It just seems like they gained so much so fast. Like it was just like the other day where Crunchyroll was just like what you said, and right, now yeah. they they're selling to fucking Sony for one point two billion dollars. That's yeah, a, that's a come up. That's a come up for that's sure. That's a dude. fucking huge come up. That ain't no million. That's billion. Yeah, it was back in the mid. 2000s i think uh was when they were still hosting illegal content essentially <laughs> and then i remember when the announcement came and they started taking everything down and they're like ah we're gonna legitimize ourselves and everybody was like wait what wait stop <laughs> Give us our illegal content we don't know if... wait. Nah, just... I, I, I i happily paid the fee i had been using the site for a couple years at that point i was like hey whatever fucking nah, dude, everybody, everybody fucking does support... that shit everybody yeah if i have the shit. chance to support the creators of the content that i enjoy Almost every day. I mean, I'm gonna take that chance. So. <laughs> right. If I if I know like for sure it's going right to them, and it's not gonna be devied out five thousand different ways, and like mm -hmm. paying for ads and paying for all this other shit, I want my. That's why I like buying local because it, it goes right to them. You know. Right. Yeah. Like, for yeah. Sure. No, even even with no like mentioned. donating stuff, I feel I, donating any amount of money. I'm so unless I like personally know the person, I, I just don't. I don't trust damn near any fucking corporation to devy their money because I don't think they're gonna use it. That's fair. You know, one of the only corporate or one of the only, um, what do you call them? Non charity? I don't, I don't know what you call them. Non uh, non profit non -profit organizations, organizations that I donate to is the Wikimedia or Wik Wikipedia, whatever their parent company is. Called. Oh, see, that's one I can get behind. I can I get behind that one. Oh really? I use it like literally every day. I'm like, well, whatever. I'll give you like 10, 20 bucks <laughs> once that? a year. And uh, you know what? <laughs> you know what deserves like hundred, maybe thousands of dollars from me. Hmm. Winrar. <laughs> Winrar <laughs> deserves thousands of dollars from everybody. <laughs> it's, a, it's a literal meme of people just not paying for Winrar. <laughs> Dude, it says like it. It acts like you have to pay for it, but you can just hit I like. Just can't play, you, yeah. can just, <laughs> you can just hit close and then just never. Just so. Never pay for it, yeah. So, Winrar, please uh, sponsor this podcast. <laughs> please sponsor us. It's the We've best totally sponsorship uh, 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 deal I can make. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've totally paid for Winrar before. Please believe us. I've donated every time I've downloaded something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is shit. Winrar still used? I haven't. Oh, dude, I use it all the Winrar time. So long. I, don't, I use. Uh... Well, Windows has some default compression stuff now, but I use, I think, 7-Zip for... Dude, I've been using WinRAR since... I have to use 7-Zip, so... Yeah, I've, I've never used anything other than WinRAR. WinRAR. I bet their website still looks the same, if I had to guess. Uh, let's see, where's the download? 
No, is this it? This must not be their actual website. For our lab? Yeah, I think that's it. Looks slightly different. Slightly different, but it still looks pretty much like it was out of the 90s. <laughs> their website. Dude, the, the, the extraction window, it looks the same. I don't think it's ever changed. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. I don't right. know. I get upset when like p things like Snapchat and Reddit and Instagram and stuff just change shit for no reason. It's like, why did you have to change the way the UI looks? It was. Are you talking it, about it, Instagram and how the they fucking like. move the notification from the bottom to the fucking top right corner? I'm not talking about any like one specific change. It's just like over the years, all of these different large like social media platforms will update their stuff every couple of years for no apparent reason. It's like. Maybe they just wanted to give their devs something to do. I don't know. I don't really know what the reason is. Most Maybe of the time, kind of it's for money. Maybe. Like, market. store capabilities and ad places, because they Yeah, I, I understand that stuff, but, like, where they change, like, the... Let's see. Like, Snapchat, for example, is, like, the one... Is the most notable example in my mind. They recently changed... Dude, whenever changed, they made their uh, own dedicated page to ads, I was like, dude, this is fucked. Yeah, it's going downhill. <laughs> I don't, dude. I never go on that page. What what is that page called? Discover. So there's a spotlight. spotlight one, and then there's the ad ones and stories. Yeah. Well. See, they fuck at at first. Ow. That was its own thing, and then they saw that nobody was going on it because it's all fucking yeah. ads. And then they included to where you have to go on it. Yeah, on the story page. That is, fuck you. Uh, yeah, those changes make sense because they're monetarily incentivized right. it's the one i'm talking about ones where like they change the icon or they change like the layout of the page that doesn't have any well at least not any obvious like incentives for them to do right I, I, like, I, see, I see what you're saying why yeah. do you keep changing this just leave like, it like, it like cosmetic earlier. shit right right exactly i'm talking about primarily cosmetic shit yeah and it's just like why why must you change it just leave it the way it was yeah <laughs> like i guess they way. just they're just making so much fucking money to where they're just gotta pay these guys just, to do something. <laughs> we gotta pay all just these go uh, to uh, redo the Instagram logo <laughs> five different times. <laughs> we have like a hundred artists just redoing it as many times as possible, and we need like more their... graphic designers ASAP. <laughs> Does this one look minimalist enough? I'm uh, not yeah. quite sure. <laughs> it needs to be in your face and minimalist at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we'll have a minimalist logo with weird colors on it. That'll do. <laughs> and it needs to be a live background. <laughs> minimalist. Yeah. Minimalist. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I just I don't I don't I don't understand why they do that. But uh, uh I think I think it's the reason I just said they're rolling in so much yeah. fucking dough. More right. graphic designers. <laughs> More graphic designers. Mm. Who knows? No, wait, no. did you did you read? Nine nine seven. Okay, okay. I was under the impression that we were going to read it. No, 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 no. Um. No, because I messaged you. I said that I I had already read it. Oh, did Before, you? Already no, I didn't. I didn't read it after you said that. I thought you were talking about like a brand new chapter for some reason. I thought you were talking about nine nine eight. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. So I mean, if not, we can just talk about nine nine six. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. I see where you, where you said that. We totally can talk about nine nine six if you want to pull that up. Yeah, I can pull that. Up. I have it see. on mine too. Refresh. Guys, we're, 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 this is a idea solely by Wes, and uh, which is a great idea. Which would be we'll be implementing this into the show, starting next show. We're going to be... Why do I have My Hero Academia on Continue Reading? I haven't read that on here. It's trying to tell you something. It's what I've been I trying mean, to tell I you. I mean, I know. I know. Come on! <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, oh, fuck. I remember what... I totally forgot what happened at the... Uh... We can talk about... Okay, okay. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I'll have this in the in the shit. I didn't even fucking start a timer. Okay, we're at we got like 20 more minutes. Okay, brush up on that. I'm just gonna browse through and go through the panel the panels that I really like. But okay, sure. I don't know what we're gonna name this segment because you can like live reaction or something, but we're gonna be live reacting as much 
liveness as we can do without being live. <laughs> right, <laughs> if that, right, right. If that makes any sense. So, it, so what we're going to do is uh, every new chapter or like before whatever chapter is closest because it comes out Thursday. What Thursday, Friday? When does it come out? Uh, it releases, yeah, around then, but it doesn't get translated and released on Viz until Sunday usually. Oh, so we okay, can that's right. Do, um, that cop that version and then i mean i pay for bits so i mean i don't feel too do bad too. about do about too. reading the uh early version that's done you by made Patrick. you made me uh subscribe <laughs> to viz and i mean i love it it's yeah, fantastic yeah, it's, it's useful. it has like a ton of uh it's not even it's not even uh, expensive what is it 2.99 yeah it's like two dollars yeah so that's what we're uh, gonna be doing before each new chapter we're gonna like during the podcast, we'll be like, okay, we're gonna go and break for this new segment, and then we're gonna go off, and then we're gonna read it, and then we're gonna come back on, and then both of our faces are gonna be like, oh, oh, holy shit, because that—that's what it's been like <laughs> these past yeah. fucking like what, what, like ten, twenty chapters. Yeah, crazy stuff is going down in Wayno right now. Okay, but or, again, spoiler alert. alert. That's the last time I'm gonna say it. All right, so spoiler alert, new chapter <laughs> nine nine six. I for oh, oh yeah, I forgot. That big fucking giant bitch got destroyed. <laughs> yeah, dude. And and uh what's your face was breaking through. Um what what, what do you call it? Oh my god. The the henchmen essentially of Kaido. Trying to get back. They're all trying to essentially race up to the top right now. Yep, that's where and the main fucking shit is about to go down, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that handle of Big Mom, dude, where she's like, "Don't worry, I'm only interested in going to where Kaido is," and she's just like flying, like yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> straight up, and just like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Meanwhile, like the scabbards are up there, the red scabbards are up there, like fighting for their lives against Kaido. Dude, they're, and they're in the they're in the most devastating battle. There, Good lord, <laughs> dude, that battle is insane, bro! Yeah, Holy and then we shit! Also have Law, Law mentions something about the the will of D essentially, and says, "I've decided. I need to know what it means, or whatever." So I'm hoping that that means we'll see some more progress on what what this fucking thing that we've known about for so long. He said, "Okay, this this is what he said, uh, in the in the panel." Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, Cora, I've made up my mind. I want to know the meaning of this checkered fate. Of this checkered fate. Trafalgar D Water Law. Dude. I'm ready. I'm, 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 I'm love, just thinking. I love law. I'm just thinking when whenever we figure out the connection between like when, whenever we see that backstory or whatever or what whatever he's unraveled for us, whenever uh, we yeah. get it, like how fucking insane that's gonna be. Dude, I'm I know so I'm ready. hyping it know, up, but he's delivered so far. I know, like I know how Oda is, so I'm half expecting him to, like, have mentioned this, and then us not hear anything else about it for, like, 20 more chapters. Yeah, dude, at, like at the, the fucking least, reverie! At the very least. <laughs> dude, the reverie yeah, was, exactly we've talked about it, but the reverie was the biggest dick tease of all anime. Dude. All of all manga. <laughs> I can't believe Oda's done this to us. He's <laughs> training us all to be fucking one dude, piece simp. <laughs> dude, imagine whenever those episodes, uh, whenever the chapters came out, you know, he, he can see all the analytics and shit. He's probably like, holy shit, it's through the roof. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're making yeah. a strategic decision here. We're, we're cutting it out. One of the things that um, Jump does is they send out polls with the magazines whenever they're released. Yeah. And so you can, like, essentially poll for, like, this was my favorite chapter this in this uh, in this comic or whatever. Because, right. like, it's a compilation, essentially, of the newly released chapters. Um, so you can be like, this one was my favorite this week. And then they, sometimes they do other polls, like character polls and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm sure that that week, One Piece is like... <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. These last he's like, few chapters. He's like, all crazy. right, we have the most fucking uh, viewers of all time. I know exactly what we're doing with this storyline. We're cutting it. Everybody cut. <laughs> we're just going to cock tease you a little bit again. <laughs> he just loves doing that, man. He loves hey, fucking. It works. You cock a little bit, and then he's just like, <laughs> you hard, and then he just runs away. And you're just like, what the fuck? He loves, Oda? Oda loves giving worldwide half chubs. Dude, fucking bastard, man. I love him. But I also, I cannot believe that he's done this yet again. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. 
<laughs> exactly. But, man, the chapter is just... Dude, they're... I... It's just it's just so good. Oh, also, what is Sanji doing in the very last panel? I, I guess you probably know since you've read the next chapter, but I have no idea what he's doing yet. I haven't read 1997 yet, and all I see is him being like, it's so nutty. <laughs> They're just like talking about like what seems like sex talk or something. I don't know either. Like he's like, come, my dear, that's it. <laughs> but at this, at this point, I don't know either. It's so naughty. Me. And then it's just fucking Sanji's face like. <laughs> yep, I still don't know. I need to know, dude. I want to know what too. What is my boy doing? What is your, he getting? Yeah, dude, that's your boy. What is he getting himself into? Dude, what shenanigans I wa- are about I, to happen? I need to see. This is what I need to see. I need to see the monster trio do some fucking crazy shit on Kaido. Dude, so I think what's probably going to happen is oh, that dude. the scabbers and the the three captains of all of the... Uh, the worst generation? The worst generation, right. Are, are essentially going to come together and three, I think, will take one emperor and the rest will take another emperor, maybe? And maybe oh, some of the... Dude, I, stop, 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 stop. Oh, can't. no, there's four, there's four, right? I Five, can't handle so. that. I can't Shit, handle there's that. There's so many. I keep forgetting. There's so many. There's so many uh, people uh, there. Good lord, man. Let's dude, see. Out of, out of the worst generation, there's Law, Zoro, Luffy, the puppet guy... The not the puppet guy, what do they call him? The straw man, the like the guy with the cards, whatever the fuck his name is. I forget. Uh, Hawkins. Hawkins, right? Basil, and Basil Apu. Hawkins. Uh, Apu and Eustace Kid. <laughs> Seven of them. So who are we missing? We're missing. Yeah, dude. Who? The oh, the who, who, dude the monk? and Bonnie and the monk. So those three? Is that it? Is that? I the remember only the last time we saw the monk, he was like fucked up. Yeah, yeah, he got like. Didn't he get beat up by Kaido or something? I think dude, you're, dude, my heart is racing just thinking about, like, the worst generation teaming up on an emperor. Yeah. Dude. What are oh, they going to do? Drake. Drake is there, too. I forgot yeah. about him. Fuck. What is that, eight? Let me see. How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So oh, and 12. Bonnie. Did you say Bonnie? Yeah, so Bonnie, Uroge... Dude, Rogan. Bonnie could be so fucking powerful right now. And Capone, I think, are the only ones. Oh, and uh, Blackbeard. Those are the only four that aren't there. All oh, of the dude, other if Blackbeard shows, shows up, I will shit my pants. I, I, I will. I'll be reading it, and I'm going to shit wherever I am. <laughs> dude, that would be insane. Wait. Stop, dude. Before you say it, re- relax. Wait. What? So he can steal powers, right? Yeah. This would be the perfect opportunity for him to show up. Immunity. And steal the two powers of the two more emperors of the I think he would be going Army. after Kaido. Dude, if he does this. Yeah, but dude, he Okay, fuck. There's no there's no way, dude. He would just become ridiculously overpowered and like yeah, it would that, essentially that... be everybody versus him, right? Like maybe that, that, that will happen though. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's the end game. Maybe yeah. Maybe that's the end game. He just gets like super strong and all of Luffy's like they like they fuck like they the fuck people. Kaido up until he's like almost about to die, and then they do right. the same thing they did on fucking Marine Ford. They come in at the last moment and they take a dude. We haven't seen them like in Marine Ford though. At least we saw them throughout the the arc, like collecting his guys and then breaking out. But maybe that was just because he was forming his crew. The last so time we saw him, not- he was like, uh, he was sitting in that room, and they were all on that island. Remember? And he right, was like, right, he was like right. eating good. He was like, he had like a, like two bitches next to him, like fucking <laughs> jugs of wine yeah, right, or fucking right, right. rum or whatever. <laughs> dude, if that, uh, man. dude, what? if that happens, they Kaido or whatever, it has to be one hell of a fight. For hip for Kaido to ultimately end up like that, if that happens, we've already seen random people kind of show up. We saw Marco the Phoenix randomly show up. How so, hyped were you whenever he showed up, dude? I was not expecting that at all. I I'm wasn't really, at all. I'm really hoping that they go more into um, whatever fighting he does. I don't even know what he's 
I like, what, what, like, what the fuck? Uh, has he just been chilling? And then he's like, oh, they're having some trouble. Yeah, but I don't know. how could know. he know? Because there's no communication with the outside world. Right. I think he... I think he at one point stopped to fight somebody, but I don't remember who it was. I thought it was Big Mom or something. Wasn't it? I don't know. I don't remember, but... Oh, wait, wait, are you talking about there. whenever he first showed up in Wayno? Uh, no, 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 no. Like, I'm talking about before. The last, last few chapters. I think he finally showed up to the island, I want to say, that they were at. Right, right. Whatever whatever the island is called. I thought you about how, how you talking about how he owned King. How, oh, hard did he, how hard did he fuck yeah, King up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, King was right, his oh, bitch. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, that's what it was. Dude, the, uh, I don't know. Now now I'm, like, kind of in the back of my mind. I'm like, is is Blackbeard, like, actually going to show up? That totally seems like something Oda would do. Just, like, have Blackbeard show up out of nowhere and then steal the powers and then just run and away dude, going, if yeah! You, if you ah! think about it, that happened at Marineford, right? Exactly, right. And what, so, and what we're experiencing is like Marineford. Everybody's coming together, and it's a fucking war. And it would make sense that Blackbeard would show up and try and take advantage of it. But we haven't seen anything yet, so I'm, I'm either we're just going to see, like, a random panel at some point of him, like, with his, like, an evil face, and it'll be, like, the prelude or the foreshadowing to him showing up, and then that's when we can know and just be like, oh, fuck! <laughs> but, I'll, uh, lose, I'll lose my mind, but maybe Oda is listening right now, and he's like, I'm changing it right now. <laughs> I changed it again. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. He yeah. has ears <laughs> everywhere. This camera right here, that it picks up everything. <laughs> Oda is in tap. He's like, they, they found it out. <laughs> Silence them. Silence them. Took them out. <laughs> you, start noticing, you start noticing you're like being followed from work. You see like big tinted black fucking Escalades just like rolling very close to you. <laughs> yeah, just like rolling by outside your window of your house or something. You're just like, uh, okay. And you hear like a very faint like, <laughs> the van has a little tiny like flag with a Jolly Roger on. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, oh man. But I kind of hope that happens now. Dude, that would be so fucking happens. badass. And how Dude Luffy would have to turn like ultra instinct to to go up with him. I mean he already kind of is now. Cause like he can see in the future and he can fucking He's like right, so right, fucking right. fast right now. I think so. maybe uh, I I think I remember reading that he had like one form or something that we don't know about yet. Yeah. People were speculating. So maybe he'll use that with the new stuff he learned while he was in. Uh, it's the, the training. Udon. Yeah, with with. Yeah, because with, his forms are based off of the animals he trained with. What is that guy's name that trained him? The master. Really? No, no, no. With with the the more than and Wayne. Oh, or, oh, oh, oh. Um. Hiroshi, is that his name? Uh, the flower dude. Yeah, it's like the, whatever. Uh, no, it's not. It's not Hiroshi. Word. Fuck. What's his name? Um, was he? He wasn't a red scabbard. What was he? He uh, he was like a a, a leader. He, uh, of some I don't know how to pronounce it. He, uh, Hirogoro. You? How is it? Is it O U? H Y O G O R O. G O. Hyogoro? Hyogoro. 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 The flower. That motherfucker's badass, man. <laughs> Dude, he can do that move on the low. He's like, alright, Luffy, watch this shit. Dude, the depiction of him in the anime is kind of hilarious, actually. In the manga, he looks way more badass. Yeah, in the in the anime, they definitely colored him up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but I I I thought I, I was against it at first, but it goes with the whole color spectrum of the whole arc, so that kind of mm. makes it okay in my head. Well, I, I understand because I read it before. I didn't. I, right, I mean, right. I've been reading the manga before uh, before the chapters since. Um, definitely not as long as you, but since Dress Rosa, since before. Like, right whenever Dress Rosa, like, middle Dress Rosa, probably. Right, right. Because I got to the point where I was in the anime, and I was like, dude, I can't not, I can't wait. I, I got, I gotta know what's happening. That's how, 
I mean, I, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's how everybody gets on the manga or manga. It was, it was two things for me. It was a time factor that I actually initially started my transition to uh, reading manga over watching anime. Um, like completely? For like a solid year, yeah. I didn't watch like hardly any anime, and I pretty much only read manga. Wow. Just because I was I was working a lot and had a bunch of other stuff going on, and it was just like I didn't really That's have time to sit down for like a twenty minute, multiple twenty minute episodes. Whereas for a chapter, I can just pull up and I can read like you know a couple pages and then go back to whatever right. I was doing or something, or I can sit down, and take a shit, and read a couple chapters and then you know whatever. Uh, it's just it's just more time efficient, I feel like, and I feel like anime has its place. And that it's got it brings more to the scenes, but manga is typically like the source of truth. So I feel like reading that anyway is generally better. It's but just like for me, it was mostly the time saving thing is why I swapped. I think, I think, and uh, just speaking on One Piece because I, I I'm not a fucking manga expert. The manga is better. Like it's the source material. Like I, I to me, it's like what the creator intended on what to look like. You know. And I mean, mm -hmm. while he's overseeing like the animation and stuff, you can't really right. get everything exactly to where the creator has in mind. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Right, right. Like Whenever you can get it very, very anime, close. Right. But there are different teams that come in. You know. Right, right. It's an adaptation of the source material at right. the end of the day. Um, That's why there's filler. It's just like the Game of Thrones the books, according right, exactly. to the Game of Thrones show, and we won't speak about that last season. <laughs> Right, right. It's it's generally the source material is more detailed. It's it's how the creator intended it. So it's. I think it's it's, it's whenever you're converting it from one form to another, you're losing some of the author's original intent. I feel like. And so, cor correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel that anime is, they have, it's it's way stricter on like time, uh, uh, like scheduling. Like they have to get that episode out. So to me, it looks like they rush a whole bunch of things from the specific uh, manga chapters to fit it all in. Like I, I, I feel, I, well, my thing is, it, I feel that manga is way less restricted in terms of uh, uh, like timing and I, I, I don't know. It just well, seems like you can't really get everything right on the anime show because it, not all of those things are possible. Like you can't translate. Right. Uh, certain panels into maybe a whole episode or a few seconds. So like they have to, yeah, they uh, have expand to kind of extrapolate a little bit and right. come up with their. And it depends on the anime. It depends on how skilled the team is to make it actually make sense, and the viewers right, actually right. like it and be like, "Oh, this is the shit that I read." I don't know if any of that if any of that made sense. I think I think uh, <laughs> you have some points, but for manga. I mean, it largely depends on what platform it's being released on, what company they have, like the mangaka has a deal with. Generally, though, like for Jump, for example, that I think releases weekly, yeah. they're, you're pushing for that crunch. I think One Piece, though, is like every two... Wait, no, it's like one week, and then he has a one break week, I think, every month or something like that. Yeah. Generally, though, I think it's every week, so... I guess I guess why I'm saying it is because I see him taking breaks all the time. So is right, that like right. a scheduled That's thing? That yeah, that's that's because he's been doing it for so long. He's he's got some some status with with <laughs> that's the company. fantastic. If you're if you're like a new mangaka, your your ass is grinding hard to release those chapters every weekend because like you have to go through this whole editing process where you and your editor have these meetings and you have to they have to get approved and you have to get first. So first, actually, the way it works is you draw rough sketches of like the storyboard essentially like you're not fully drawing in the background you're just kind of roughly sketching the characters and how things will look and yeah. then that gets approved by the editor and then after that that's when you go once that's approved you go and do like the actual full panels and usually the uh the creator if he's the if he's the artist will go and draw like the main characters and then he has assistants that will come in and fill in the backgrounds and side characters and whatever else that needs to be done in the panels Damn, but the dude, cool. how the panels are structured, where the characters are, and everything like that is generally like all controlled by him. And then he like has little notes that's like fill in this with this, fill in this with this, fill in this with this, or he'll, he'll like draw little sketch marks or something on it. And then the art, the assistants will go fill that in. Dude, that uh, that is so interesting to me. Like that whole process. Yeah. It's 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 pretty interesting. Uh, I would recommend like looking into it a little bit. 
at some point. It, yeah, since, I since need, you're already you, a huge fan of it. I mean, do you it's have like a documentary, a specific documentary, or just, um, I mean, I'm just gonna look up Oda. I've I've just looked up like Wikipedia articles and stuff, and my interest was originally sparked by this anime called Bakuman, which is about a mangaka, and he's like a high schooler essentially. Him and his friend have this manga that they're trying to do they have this dream that they want to have a um serialized manga and then hit the main character's dream is that he has this girl that he likes who wants to be a voice actor and he wants his manga to become an anime and he wants her to voice act the character in it essentially that's that um, that what you just explained is a manga yeah it's a manga and an anime it has i think three wow. seasons of anime oh I damn that's like that's like real manga. shit anime yeah, it's it's actually really good, and it has like it's like almost shonen-y because the the main character, the two main characters, it's one who does the story essentially, and one who does the art. Yeah. And the main characters basically have these struggles getting these series released, and then they go through the, like the process of you know whenever your series starts dying down in interest and it gets canceled, and then they have to go find a new series, like they have to come up with new ideas and present them to the to the companies to like get re serialized. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's it's very shonen-y because they also have other artists that are also like characters in the show that are like rivals with them. And there's this one really eccentric character that's like super good at what he does and, and does most of it himself. And yeah. the, these other, the two main characters essentially are like trying to beat him throughout the series. <laughs> it's just really oh, good, so it's one. Oh, okay, okay, I see. See, I right. I haven't delved down anything besides like a shonen. Like I haven't gone on like real life shit or like anything like that. Once I, dude, I, I just know, once I go down that avenue, there's no turning back. I'm already not turning back now, but I feel yeah. that's so, that's getting deeper and deeper and deeper, which I, I'm yeah. not opposed to it. It's just, I, I got to get into it. I can't just put it on and then I, I got to sit down and be like, all right, I'm ready to venture into this avenue of anime. Right. Yeah. It's, it's. Cause that's, a, it's a whole new category, you know? What, once you start taking it, I guess more seriously would that would that no no it's definitely or, taking it seriously would you consider that uh like different genres of anime or like different categories yeah, yeah. how is that no, how is that is that the different point? genres essentially that's the right word uh, for it yeah yeah like uh for like shonen would be like a subgenre of or i guess you could probably consider it a genre perhaps yeah. But most shonens, we when we talk about shonens, we're typically talking about like action or adventure shonens, right. where the characters are going on some grand adventure or doing fights or whatever. Right. Um, that's what we think about when typical shonen. But I don't think shonens necessarily have to be action. So I, maybe it is no. a subgenre. But yeah. Anyway, it's it's definitely its own like genre. It has its own like defined tropes, like rivals, and you know some goal for the character. And yeah, they all follow like up. a formula, yeah. but each one is the good ones expand on that and make it really fucking right, good right, right exactly uh just i mean pretty much everything has tropes though it's like it's it's genres of music have their own tropes genres of tv shows genres of books genres of like most things like most art forms have like defined tropes that define what kind of what a genre is it's like things that you look for in a genre and then those tropes are commonplace in those genres i need i need to start looking at it like that because all i see Right now, whenever I think of anime, it's just like anime. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean? I'm not. I'm not. I've only seen like the ones that I've mentioned to you. So like, I, right, I, I right. haven't looked at it in like a in like a genre category type way to like, oh, these are the ones on the shonen. This is the one on this. Right. Or, right. Or vice versa, or whatever. I mean, I've been watching anime for like probably since like early 2000s so like at least 15 years so I've, I've just like i started to notice that these things were like similar and then i knew already knew what a trope was so you can like look up tropes for these types of genres or whatever there's yeah. like a database for like tv tropes and stuff um yeah like on just, netflix you can go to like action and adventure and blah 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 and then they'll have like different i want to i need to picture it like that it's like it's shonen like and... of um it's like the meta of anime essentially and i find it interesting um there's also, by the way, kind of a aside, there's a website called AniChart that, so I don't know if you know this, but anime essentially releases in seasons. There's right. like, there's three or four separate quarters, essentially, that are broken into seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And I think we're, right now we should be coming into winter, um, uh, would be the next one. But anyway, uh, 
you, this this website essentially has like the release schedules for all of the upcoming anime for each of the different seasons. Like for example, winter is coming up, and I can I can look and see in 25 days, episode one of something called Toba no Hanayome is coming out, or uh, in 30 days, Tensei Shitara Slime Dataken, or mm. uh, My Life as a Reincarnated Slime, or whatever it's actually called in English. Uh, the season two for that comes out in 30 days. Like you can go and look at that and see what's coming out like over the next year or so. Damn. Uh, I'll, I'll go look at that every once in a while and be like, Oh yeah, this fucking manga that I've been reading for a while is coming out with an anime or, or oh, that, this you need, you need to send me that. Anime. Send me a link to that. Cause we, we gotta, yeah, we gotta sure. close up before my FL fucks up. So, oh, right, right. uh, we, we were going to get to some more <laughs> shit, but I feel that the, uh, the chapter discussion was more important. Than anything, True. so we're we're gonna do that segment a, as Next. much as we can. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, you're talking about the the the, the live reaction right, sort right, of yeah. live reaction type thing. Right. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And that. I think uh, I think having that like dedicated like one piece thing is is good, and we could alternate and do like a review of some anime or manga or something on the off weeks. So. Yeah. I think we what it was it's three weeks I think out of a month that he usually releases. He doesn't yeah. always take that week. I don't think, but I think typically he does. So I think it's like three. for each feature, I'm going to research and see like what animes they do, and then uh, uh -huh. we can if 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 me and you know, I mean you're probably going to know what they're talking about. So we'll just we'll, we'll do some stuff. I, I'm I'm freaking well, out because this might this might freeze. So we need we need to end this. Uh, this has again, been another. Thank you for tuning in to the Weaving with Wes. Dungeon. With Wes. Uh, dude, I had that intro stuck in my head that I need to make a song. The Weeping with Wes. Whenever we should just formally sing whatever whenever intro. you said that, it, it's it's always been in my head, so I guess that has to be the intro now. <laughs> we need to sing it horribly every every episode. That dude, needs yeah. to be the first episode. So just horribly <laughs> sing whatever the intro is. <laughs> uh, I'm down. Okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, uh, more features coming soon. Subscribe and like and do whatever. Yeah. All right. Reach later. Yeah. Well, go watch One Piece. <laughs> People drift away, I can call it cabin All my falls, sitting here, sipping malls In the rear, I wish I would've never caught My friends that fucked me over in my brain made a fault, give me brain And hope you make me come like a talk Strolling through the gram and hating all the thoughts Fame is something that you bought Almost got into a feud with Aladdin fought Over something stupid, I don't think I'm Cupid But I help more people than myself I need to buy some tools I don't know, something newish Maybe date a girl that's newish Maybe moving newer, yeah.